All right, for number 38, we are um, going to first multiply these two polynomial rational expressions together. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is to um, factor x squared minus 4 and the other polynomials as well. So x squared minus 4 is actually a pattern of um, a difference of squares. So I know that I'm going to have two binomials. One is going to be an x plus, the other is going to be an x minus. And since the square root of 4 is 2, I'm going to have x plus 2 and x minus 2. The bottom polynomial, I'm looking for two numbers that when I multiply, I get negative 10, and when I add, I get negative 3. So what are two numbers that I multiply to get negative 10 and add to get negative 3? Those two numbers are going to be 5 and 2, and the 5 is going to be negative since the 3 is also negative. So it's going to be x minus 5 and x plus 2. Then x squared minus 25 is also a difference of squares. So it's going to be x plus 5 and x minus 5. And then the x minus 2 stays as is on the bottom. So as you can see, I can now do some cross-canceling before I multiply. You notice x minus 2 and x minus 2? So you can cross those out. x plus 2 is on the top here and the bottom here, so they can cancel out. And then x minus 5 is both on the top here and the bottom here, so I can cross those out. So the only thing I'm really left with is x plus 5. There's nothing on the bottom except for 1, which I don't really need to write, so x plus 5 is my final answer. For division, I still have to factor. Um, so I'm going to first factor. So 6 over two numbers that when I multiply I get negative 15 and add to get negative 2 are 5 and 3. And since the 2 is also negative, the bigger number is negative on the bottom here. So it's going to be x minus 5 and x plus 3. The division I'm going to change to multiplication and flip the second, just like I would um, divide two fractions. And now I can cross cancel. So x minus 5, x minus 5. The x plus 3 has nothing to cancel with, so I know that's going to be on the bottom over here. And now the 6 and 12 can all also be reduced. So 6 goes into 6 one time, and 6 goes into 12 two times, and therefore I'm also left with a 2 on the bottom. Nothing's left on top except for a 1. So therefore I'm just left with 1 over 2 times x plus 3 for my answer.